What's going on guys? Uncle Buck here. As y'all know, me and Cousin Elvis, we got this mystery tackle box challenge coming up. In fact, it's coming up tomorrow. Now, you know, we've been, you know, talking a little noise back and forth, but, you know, oh, oh Elvis, he decided to uh, start slinging mud, I guess, calling old Bubba and Bubba betraying me what the hell I mean the fact of the matter is Bubba don't need to be worrying about trying to make little jokes and talk about Elvis whipping my ass what Bubba needs to be worrying about is coming out of retirement and catching up because as it stands I'm still four bass ahead of him and ten catfish ahead of him now that four ahead of him is only what I've caught more than him while we are together because in reality I'm 22 bass ahead of him but Bubba likes to say if you don't catch them while I'm with you they don't count and his argument is if this was a tournament the fish you caught yesterday wouldn't matter that's true I'll give you that however if this was a tournament, the rest of the guys that are fishing it don't got to go home just because you didn't get to the damn lake. Now what? And on the subject of old Cousin Elvis, you know, I didn't want to have to get dirty. And I really didn't want to have to get ugly. But let's face it. Dirty, ugly, and Uncle Buck go hand in hand. That, that, that ain't what I meant. What I meant was... Anyway. You know, it's mighty convenient. Oh, Will was getting his little endorsements. But he conveniently left out all the people that couldn't be bought. That's right. I'm about to show y'all a little something. These are the people that Elvis couldn't pay off with his dirty money. Y'all check this out. Team Buck. See that? Team Buck. Yeah. Buck. Team Buck. Team Buck. Team Buck. Uncle Buck. And also, I actually had to get a, a chance to sit down and interview one of the people that voted Team Elvis. Here's what he had to say. Yeah, old Elvis, he paid me $20 to give him a vote. I took my $20 and I went and bought me a Tom Jones CD. Shit. Despicable. Now, y'all really want to be backing the one known as Cousin Elvis or Team Elvis? I mean, come on now. I happen to have a a very reliable source and matter of fact I witnessed this once myself oh cousin Elvis he likes to go down to the boat launch and pay all these other guys to give them the bass the bass out of their boat so he goes live well shopping and I can guarantee he's gonna try to do that tomorrow during this challenge but I want the bucks and be keeping a close eye on him I guarantee Y'all know Cousin Elvis, he lives by three rules. Lie, cheat, and steal. You gotta do whatever he gotta do to get by. You know, I ain't gonna fault the man, but when you're dealing with Uncle Buck, son, you better come correct. Anyway, guys, we talk a lot of crap, you know. It's what we do. I ain't no animosity with, uh, amongst any of us, really. You know, what's the fun if you don't talk shit? But, you know, we have been selling this thing pretty damn good, so hopefully we don't both go out there and get skunked tomorrow. But either way, we're going to be on the lake, we're going to be in the boat, we're going to be fishing, so we're going to have a good time. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to see what happens. We'll see y'all 
on the mystery tackle box challenge.